the moment we have all been waiting for has arrived. Since our last update, there has been remarkable progress at the Ramad Park site. The substructure work is partially complete, beams have been placed, the superstructure work has just begun. Welcome back everyone. We are back at the Ramad Park flyover construction site to document the latest progress of this game changing project. For those of you joining us for the first time, welcome to Lantus TV. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our updates. We have been documenting the incredible transformation right here at the Ramon Park Flyover construction site since the beginning. In our last video, the pillars and support structures were taking shape and ever since, we were eagerly anticipating the next phase of the project. And in that video, I told you all that I will be back soon with an update. And today, I have come with the biggest update. As you can see, the project has leaped forward from the grind up into the sky. Stay tuned as we take a tour around the site to see the progress made so far. This flyover construction is now at a stage where the pillars are complete and the beams are being installed in preparation for the deck. This is one of the most important stage of the construction and this is where the Raman Park flyover truly starts to become a flyover. The precast concrete beams are fully ready. As you can see, these massive pillars on the ground are called the precast concrete beams. Each one weighs several tons and it was manufactured right here on the construction site saving a lot of time and avoid the challenges of transporting such heavy materials over long distances. Now, these massive beams will be lifted into position by cranes. This process requires extreme precision and coordination. Even a small mistake can be so dangerous, which is why the skill and experience of the CCECC's construction team are so important. These beams play a critical role in the structure. They are designed to span the wide gaps between the support pillars and will carry the heavy loads of vehicles once the flyover is complete. After all the beams are in place, they will form a solid base, the platform in which the actual road surface will be built. This is a key moment in the project and a great example of modern engineering done right. Now, Let's take a look at this massive wall that is currently under construction. It is called a retaining wall. It is not as flashy as the beams, but the job in the flyover is very important. What is the purpose of the retaining wall? It holds back the soil. The retaining wall prevents the ground from sliding or collapsing, especially on the sloped areas. By keeping the soil in place, it helps create a strong and stable foundation for the new roads that will connect to the flyover. Without the retaining wall, the ground could shift, making the area unsafe for construction and traffic. It may not look dramatic, but it plays a vital role in supporting the entire infrastructure around the flyover. So what happens next after these beams are all in place? The next step is to work on the deck pouring creating the actual road surface. The construction crew will build a framework on top of these beams, lay a network of steel river, and then pour the concrete that will form the actual road deck. Alongside that, they will finish this retaining wall and start building the road approaches that will connect the flyover to the existing streets. The puzzle pieces are coming together. The pace of visual change is about to become incredible. Now let's take a look at the daily struggle. Progress above, patience below. Up above, it is a carefully coordinated effort. A real symphony of progress as the flyover takes shape. But down on the ground, the daily challenges continue. Traffic congestion remains a major struggle for thousands of commuters. The inconvenience is real. Still, something has changed. There is a growing sense of hope. People are no longer just frustrated. They can see the rising solution right in front of them. The frustration is now mixed with anticipation. 
as the vision of a smoother and faster travel becomes more real each day. This is what progress feels like, challenging in the moment but promising for the future. Upon completion, this flyover will drastically reduce travel time between Agbo Road, Ring Road and Awuchi Road. It will ease the notorious congestion at the Ramat Park. It will boost economic activity by improving logistics and mobility. It will become a new landmark for a modern progressing Benin city. From groundbreaking pillars to the first beam of the deck, this project is raising forward. The promise made by the Edo State Governor is becoming a reality. Now tell me, what do you think about this project? Do you think this project will be completed within the 18 months timeline? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Let's start the conversation. Share this video with someone you know who loves Benin City and believe in its future. And if you find this video useful, subscribe, like and share so I can be able to create more videos like this. Thanks for watching.